Knowing full well that players are counting the days until the release of Resident Evil 2, Capcom has released the perfect package to make the wait more tolerable. With Resident Evil Director's Cut, you can experience the uncut, more gory Japanese version of the fastest selling Sony PlayStation game ever. As if the game weren't challenging enough, the enhanced version includes rearranged items and weapons, faster and smarter enemies, new camera angles, and alternate character graphics. Furthermore, a playable demo of Resident Evil 2 is packed inside the game on a separate disc. Cynics may scoff at the idea of re-releasing a game that is only a year old, but at only $39.99, Capcom doesn't look too greedy. Still, we can only justify buying this game if you fall into one of two categories. One, you didn't buy the original Resident Evil and therefore haven't played through the entire game. Or two, you're that desperate to sneak a peek at Resident Evil 2, which is scheduled for a January debut. We really only have three complaints toward Resident Evil Director's Cut. One minor, two major. The first major quibble is the fact that the awful play control didn't get any reworking, even though non-essentials like camera angles and character graphics were changed. The second major quibble is the missing severed head shot in this zombie munching scene. You can see the falling head right here, but we got this footage directly from Capcom. When we played the game, the head was nowhere to be seen. We're not complaining about the lack of gross stuff because we love to see that severed head, even though we do, but rather because the game promised to be uncensored. Lastly, the one minor complaint is carried over from our review of the original game. The black and white opening scene is tacky, poorly shot, poorly edited, sinfully fakey, and ultimately unscary. Jill's frantic cries and the salivating monster are never once convincing, not even for a nanosecond. Anyway, judged by itself, Resident Evil Director's Cut is a good buy. Just remember the two categories we mentioned before you decide to buy the game. Of course, you don't have to fall into either category, but it's our opinion that if you don't, you're wasting money. And you know what you can do with that opinion if you don't agree with it.